Hey now, Adam Reaver, fu-tone.com, back with you in my less crappier video series, the COVID series. Today, I'm going to show you how to do the upgrade and mod for the EVH Wolfgang Standard. This is the only guitar in the series for all the EVH guitars that the route is a little weird. It's a little off, and I, I suggest modifying it slightly. You don't have to modify any of the other routes, none of the 5150s, the Stripe series, the Wolfgangs, the old PVs and Music Mans for that matter. No problem upgrading, not at all. Just the Wolfgang standard has this odd route, I guess from the factory that did them. It was a bit of an oversight, but I'm going to show you how to easily make this mod. Do the upgrade. We'll listen to it before and after. Keep in mind also, if you're uncomfortable with this kind of route, don't do it. Send it in. We can do it. Don't, uh, don't hack up your guitar if you're not confident. But I'm going to show you how I do it in a pretty easy way. So let's take a listen, see what we got here. So, I've taken the bridge off of the guitar, and you could see that this route is not a perfect rectangle. This lip right here hangs a little lower. All we're going to do is shave this edge off to make this rectangle a perfect rectangle. I'm going to show you the way I do it. it. may not be the best way for everyone. I'm just going to show you what I do in easy way. And if you are uncomfortable cutting your guitar or modifying the wood, don't do it. Take it to somebody who can do it, or you could send it here to us. We'll do it. But here's how I modify the Wolfgang Standard route. I use blue painter's tape so it doesn't damage the finish and I use it as a guide and I tape off what the rectangle would be. So I put it right at the edge of the lower piece and you can see the lip here. You can see how it comes down. I want to keep that straight across. Then I will put a piece this way to catch this edge, even though I'm not going to cut on the other side there. I'm just going to put a piece of tape there as a marker. And if you look at what's left here, just this little edge right along here, that's all I'm going to take off. I also like to tape up the pickups, the studs, just so dust doesn't get in there. Everything's taped up. What I like to use is my Dremel tool with a little round sanding disc on it. And very gently, once I start the Dremel, I'm going to drop it in the hole and just ride back and forth evenly to remove that little edge. Once I get to the tape, I'm done. So I'll do a little and show you how it looks. Nice, even strokes, not a lot of pressure. 
don't dip into the lower edge here. You're just taking this edge down to the tape. I like to keep a can of compressed air. Clean a little as I go. And let's take this down and I'll show you what it looks like. When you're all done and you blow away all your dust, take your tape up. And you should have a rectangle like it should have been in the first place. So again, if you are unsure of this, don't take a Dremel to your guitar, send it in, have someone do it. Now we'll take care of this for you. So we'll upgrade this, put it back together, take a listen to it. Okay, we're done. We got the bridge upgraded, 42L brass big block, titanium inserts, stainless hardware, D-tuna, noiseless springs, brass claw, brass trim stop, all of it, the usual. So let's take a listen and see what we got. This guitar smokes. Not the most expensive guitar on the market. This guitar sounds and plays like any high-end guitar. This guitar is awesome. So check it out. FU-tone.com EVH Standard Mod. Okay. 